Hi, Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections here to talk about combustion air ducts and big wide open basements and whether you really even need a combustion air duct in that case. So I bring this topic up because I received an email from a past client of ours recently saying, hey Ruben, I had the boiler inspection per your recommendation and when the boiler guy was out, I told him about this combustion air duct that comes into my basement. It brings in cold air all winter long. It makes my basement all cold and I, I don't like it and I want to get rid of it. And the, the boiler guy told me there's been a recent change in the code saying if you have a large wide open basement and it's big enough, you can actually get rid of that duct. So yeah, go for it. And he was a little, my client was a little leery of this so he emailed me, hey Rubes, what's up? Can I get rid of it? What do you think? And my answer was, I have no idea. I don't have nearly enough information about your basement to give you an educated answer. Why don't you shoot me over a photo of your basement, let's have a look, and maybe I can get a better idea. So here's the actual photo that he sent me. As you can see in the corner here, we've got a combustion air duct, looks like a six inch flex, flex duct. You've got an atmospherically vented or natural draft water heater and boiler. Now. If you remember my blog post about gas vent appliance types, you can have category one, two, three, and four. These are both category one appliances. They rely on gravity to get the exhaust gases up and out of the home. The exhaust gases are lighter than the surrounding air, so they rise and they leave. But for every, every cubic inch of exhaust gas that leaves the home, you need another cubic inch of air entering the home. The, what leaves needs to be exactly equal to what's entering. And if you have a fight for air, like let's say your, your atmospherically vented or natural draft appliances are venting just fine, all the exhaust gases are going up and out, no problems there, but then you have something that fights them for air, like a bathroom exhaust fan or a few bathroom exhaust fans or maybe a kitchen fan, those will, those will use like hundreds of cubic feet of air per minute. What, what if you got one of those? What if you've got a clothes dryer? Everybody's got a clothes dryer. All these things fight for air. And anytime there's a fight between a fan on an appliance and natural draft, the fan is going to win every time. So we can't have those things fighting for air because if, if they do go up against each other and the fuel burning appliance loses, you're gonna have exhaust gas spilling back into the room, spilling back into the house. It'll contain carbon monoxide, like I mentioned in last week's video. And that's not a good thing. That is that is a potentially deadly situation. So we never wanna have backdrafting appliances. So what happens is we just can't let these devices fight for air. That's, that's what makes it safe. We need a crutch for our natural draft appliances. And that's a combustion air duct. That's this duct that my client had in the corner of his basement. It's there so that there's always gonna be enough air coming back in to replace the air that leaves through bath fans, kitchen fans, and all that. So what is this thing about having a leaky home and allowing air to come in? Well, in our fuel gas code, there is a section that mentions that. It says that for every 1,000 BTUs of combustion appliance, if you have at least 50 cubic feet of space, you can get away without a combustion air duct. And so if you, you know, let's say he's got an 80,000 BTU boiler, typical size, and a 40,000 BTU water heater, again, typical size, we'd have 120,000 BTUs of, of appliances. And using that formula I gave you, 50 cubic feet for each one of those, you would need 6,000 cubic feet of space in your basement to not need a combustion air duct. And you know, to do the math, if you had like a 30 by 30 basement with seven foot ceilings, that would get you 6,000 square feet, I think. So it, you know, it's a pretty typical size basement. So maybe he would be okay doing it, but the problem with the code here is that the code is kind of dumb. I mean, not, not that it's bad, but it's just, it doesn't know what else is going on in the home. And the mechanical code addresses real big appliances that suck a lot of exhaust gas out of the home. I blogged about the 300 CFM kitchen fan myth. But 
the, the fuel gas code doesn't know what else is going on. So I don't like relying on that. When I inspect homes that have big wide open basements, I tell my clients, this might be enough to supply adequate combustion, but the next time you have any appliances replaced, you're probably gonna need to add in a dedicated combustion air duct. And that was, that's what I ended up recommending to this guy who asked me about it. I said, leave that duct in place. I'm not comfortable with you removing it. I don't know what else is going on. Just leave it there. If you have cold air dumping in at your feet, go ahead and make a J at the bottom of that. And so the six inch duct is probably all that he's gonna need. It's, it's probably fine. And on most homes that we have here in Minnesota, somehow we end up with a six inch flexible insulated duct. And it all goes back to the code and what's allowed. There's, you know, they have some pretty complicated formulas for what size combustion air duct you're supposed to have. But then they also have an exception to all these formulas. I think I have it written down. At, uh, no, I didn't write it. Yeah, it's, uh, they, they say you can use table 304.1 to determine the size of a combustion air duct. You can just use this instead of doing all these complicated formulas. And they'll allow you to use a five inch flexible duct for up to 150,000 BTUs of combustion appliances. And 150, that, that covers most basement appliances. And when they say a five inch duct, that's assuming it's going to be a rigid duct, a solid duct. If you wanna step up to flex, they say you gotta increase the duct size by one inch. And that's what everybody does. Everybody's got flexible insulated ducts. And that's why you almost always see a six inch combustion air duct installed in almost every Minnesota basement. That's it. Thanks for watching.